Welcome to Kubo, your classroom solution for teaching coding to students as young as four. That's right, Kubo is so easy to use that students can learn to code while learning their ABCs. Today, we want to explore the Kubo Coding 4-Pack, show you what you'll get, and let you experience how easy it is to get started with Kubo. This solution comes with a robot body 4-Pack, four of the Kubo Coding Packs, and a tube with five activity maps. Let's dive into each of these components. In the body pack, there are four robot bodies, but no heads. Don't panic, the Kubo heads are included in the coding packs, and we'll get to those shortly. Each body four pack includes a multi-charger that has five ports and four USB cables. Prior to your first use, you need to charge your robots. Simply plug each body into the multi-charger and let it charge for two hours. You'll know your robot is charging when the light turns on. When fully charged, your robot has a lifespan of four hours of continuous use. All right, let's move on to the fun bit. All the intelligence of Kubo is wrapped up in the coding packs. Each coding pack includes a single robot head and a set of tactile pieces. Each set contains 46 individual tag tile pieces. Each tag tile contains a small chip, which talks to Kubo and tells it how to behave depending on how you put the pieces together. The tag tile communicates with the head, it's the smart part. This means that no other technology or device is needed to teach coding with Kubo. The inside flap has examples of programs that you can create by piecing the tag tiles together. It really is like solving a puzzle. The tag tile pieces are sorted in the box by level of complexity 1, 2, and 3. The numbered flaps also serve as a guide for keeping your coding packs organized. Printed on the back of each flap is a guide to which and how many tag tiles belong in each section, which is great for classroom management. Level 1 is all about roots, or movements, as the arrow on each tag tile suggests. With these pieces, you control the direction that Kubo moves by sequencing them together. Level 2 is all about functions, which combine a series of instructions into a single line of code. If you are new to coding, our online platform has some easy and free tutorials that explain what functions are and how to use them with Kubo. Level 3 gets a bit more sophisticated with the introduction of loops, recursive functions, and subroutines. These terms might sound unfamiliar, but remember, Kubo was designed for children as young as four. Let's take a look at what's in the tube. These are your activity maps. The maps are made of extremely durable, wipeable material that is easily cleaned and easy to manage. The map is Kubo's playground. It's a cheery, colorful 10 by 10 grid where students can plan a journey for Kubo and use the tactile pieces to program the robot to get from A to B. As a bonus, we've included a blank map to enable you and your students to get creative and design your own adventure for Kubo. So now that you know what's in the box, it's time to get to work. See Kubo's eyes lighting up? That's the signal that you're ready to go. Kubo has four light colors. Blue means powered on or that Kubo has completed a sequence and function. More information about the light signals are included in the resources. Finally, to access all the great teacher content available, go online at kubo.education. Here you'll find the coding license, which includes 12 plus hours of ready-made lesson plans plus downloadable resources to get you started. We hope you have enjoyed our introduction to Kubo and we look forward to welcoming you to the Kubo community of educators. 
Remember, with Kubo, coding is as simple as solving a puzzle. Visit kubo.education for online tutorials, lesson plans, and lots of inspiration. Purchase your Kubo Classroom solution at www.pitsco.com forward slash Kubo.